Each day, thousands of travelers from all over the globe arrive at Guangzhou's gates for the first time. Some just passing through on one leg of a journey, others on the brink of a new adventure. Each leaves their story behind, like a good book that sticks with you long after it's been read. Malaria is among the world's top three most contagious diseases. Prior to 2000, it was estimated there were 300 to 500 million malaria cases per year, resulting in the deaths of around 1 to 1.5 million people. And since the disease tends to proliferate in tropical climes, most of those cases were concentrated in sub-Saharan Africa. Song Jianping, a professor from the Guangzhou University of Chinese Medicine, has been coming to Africa since the early 2000s. He and his hand-picked team are here to distribute the life-saving drug artemisinin, the only highly effective treatment for malaria so the local volunteers are more than happy to help. Professor Song's dream of curing malaria has led him and his team across countries and continents. This time, their travels have taken them to the island nation of Papua New Guinea in the southwestern Pacific Ocean. The team is about to arrive at Papua New Guinea's Kirawina Islands, located at the southeastern edge of the Solomon Sea. Amongst the several atoll formations are the four main islands, all low-lying and lush with vegetation. Unfortunately, the only means of travel to the islands is by boat, and the team must endure the 22-hour-long journey from the Port Moresby. This will mark the seventh country the team has visited since they began their mission. China with a big population, they were able to get rid of it. Here, we only have almost like maybe 50,000 persons. So if we can do that, I'm sure we can do it. There are 45,000 people living in the Kirawina Islands, and the incidence rate of malaria has risen to 18% of the population. Professor Song has little time to waste. Do you know how many people got malaria last year, for example, last month? Approximately half of the population. Half of the population yes. got malaria? Yes. Uh, I thought you have a bad that idea, but I want to know how yeah. many people? Approximately 15. How many people can uh, sleep in the boat, uh, mosquito night? Say two people. Two people. And two another people. one? No mosquito. Open. Yeah, no mosquito. No mosquito. I've got the sun die. You saw yeah, my first one Sunday. Yeah. When? Malaria, 2007. 2007? Yeah. That's a lot of uh, death comes up 2007, about 11 deaths. In the Kirivina? Especially in my ward here, my village. At that yeah. time, how can you do for the patients? I'll just bury them. Die and bury them. Okay, we can help you at your village. <laughs> Zhuang 
Professor Song's team has brought some of the mosquitoes from the infected areas to be examined in the lab. Here, using molecular biological techniques, they can determine whether these mosquitoes have been infected with the malaria parasites. Once the tests are completed, they can identify the intensity rate. Also, they are included in the excluded population. Now, how we take the drug? Fill in on the second line. One of the most important tasks when implementing large-scale treatment and prevention is the training of the local volunteers. In the past, dealing with the locals required a lot of patience, but this time, the locals are attentive and cooperative. The first dose, not the absent, no, no. Yeah. Most of the mothers realize that they are pregnant after one month of not seeing the menstrual period. The side effect is from artemisinin to the first trimester women. We can use another anti-malaria drugs. With the mobilization of a local malaria control staff, Professor Song and his team are fully equipped to handle the task at hand. Today we bring the project to your village. Hope we can help you to eliminate malaria in the near future. All the people will benefit from the project. And this, I will help you successful and uh, end the malaria in your village. Hope you're successful. Once malaria becomes prevalent in a particular area, it is standard practice to administering medicine to everyone in the vicinity, even the uninfected. It serves as a treatment for the patients and a measure of prevention for the infected. It is a giant undertaking and one that took a while to catch on. <laughs> With the combined efforts of Professor Song's team and local malaria control staff, artemisinin is administered to every person in the village. Just a month later, the infection rate on the island dropped from 18 percent to 1 percent. I want to confirm, uh, are you, uh, what's your feelings uh, after you take the medicine? I'm okay. Uh, okay. That's how it is. Thank you. Yeah, how you uh, take part in the... This team has been working on a dream. This dream is the dream that we have been working on in the world of 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 the world. 原来我在零九年做过一个梦，我讲十年全世界销售疟疾，现在看来有点难度。如果说再加的十年，十年销售疟疾完全是可能。Professor Song and his team remain dedicated to educating and empowering malaria-stricken countries with the life-saving drug artemisinin. Yet even with the knowledge that their journey is still far from over. They carry onward in pursuit of the noblest of causes. Stories like this are a shining example of the kind of driven people that have chosen Guangzhou as their home. And they come from all over the world. This is Aben, a fashion designer from France who has been living in Guangzhou for the last 10 years. After marrying a woman from Guangzhou, he opened a business specializing in custom-made haute couture. Gua 
广东在办全世界去上场的衣服，所以呃竞争力很大。但是我蛮喜欢这个，第一你没有竞争力，你没有的进步的；第二我这个层次是我文化，我就蛮喜欢，所以我选择这个广州也是带这个一件在在里面。陈老师，嗯，我们这件衣服要改一下，就就改短这么多，对对对对，改两公分就可以了，嗯，对，这样子我们的比例会好一点。法国的时尚是很重要的。呃，为法国人，我可以带我自己的文化去管理一个一一一个公司，而且我也把我自己的理念，呃，带我们自己是我们呃长大的环境就不一样，所以我会带一些我们呃法国的文化给他们。Along with his own design studio and workshop, Aben owns ten exclusive shops around Guangzhou, which sell clothes designed and manufactured by his own team. Once a week, he drops by to check on things. From 2017, we started opening 15 stores. My most is on service. This is service. OK, you come to me, I'm a customer, I serve you. Our size is very small, but the size is very small. 呃，我的东西是每一个人穿一样的，很多人同意。呃，看到我这个品牌，他会觉得这一个很 high quality 的设计，这个是唯我唯一一个一个梦想在工作上的。Hello, hello, hello. 今天这么有空啊？对啊，这个也是刚刚出的一些一一个新款啊。你看，我看到现在现在呃很流行的一些呃鸽子，哇，真的是。呃，很漂亮啊，蛮合适你的。都是你的菜啊。<笑> Abin's dream is to have a piece of clothing for everyone's own style. In order to do this, he has to adapt to the frantic pace of Guangzhou. 现在的 sell 的模式，在中国在改变。这里是生活很快。我们在法国不习惯这个，我们是慢慢比较浪漫的地方。但是这里每一个人都在很努力做事事情，所以都给一个感觉给我，就是我们不能停，我们都要不停的进步。Aben also takes pride in being a good son-in-law to his wife's parents. In doing this, he has fully embraced the norms of Guangzhou culture. Merci. 怎么融入这个家庭生活呢？是呃，慢慢一步一步的的创作，因为我要了解他们，他们也要了解我，因为我的时候文化是很大分别的，很大不一样的。法国那里是比较独立一点的，肯定不会跟爸爸妈妈一起住，但是这里又不一样呢，家庭的意识是很强的，所以要呃大家一起住，呃煮饭啊，去玩啊，都是一个家庭一起做的。<laughs> Aben, who is now expecting his second child, has adapted well to his new life in Guangzhou. What is more, the cultural diversity in his household has had a positive influence on his parenting style. My daughter is now in the school. My husband is talking to her in English. I'm talking to her in French. And we can see some English songs and some other small band girls. They are all in English. So now the environment has four languages. I like to introduce some languages. She will be able to 用不同的方式去想一个同一个问题。Although Aben has earned himself a place in Guangzhou, he continues to push himself in pursuit of his dream. Then, in the midst of his busy work schedule, Aben and his wife welcome their second child. 
，我是想给一个呃很好的环境，女儿跟儿子去长大的。我觉得广州的文化也是从很。久以前，它是对外，所以呢，这个城市呢，它很开放，它的 future 是很宽很大，所以我蛮喜欢我的留在这里。Leaving Aben to pursue his dream, we now follow another new arrival to Guangzhou. His name is Segundo Matamba, an ex-pro soccer player who has come all the way from Ecuador to coach one of the local youth squads. Segundo Matamba has been playing soccer since he was seven years old. He started out as a Barcelona Sporting Club youth product and was already playing professionally by the time he was 15. He has also played on several championship winning teams. Matamba's team played in the World Cup qualifiers in 2002 and 2006. Unfortunately, in his last appearance, he pulled a muscle and was forced to exit the tournament. Para nosotros en, en Sudamérica, nosotros nacemos con una pelota. Lo primero que nos dan el regalo es una pelota. ¿Qué significa el fútbol para mí? Puedo encerrarlo en, en, en una sola palabra. Eh, el fútbol es una pasión y te deja relaciones, muy buenas relaciones y te lleva a realmente a compartir tus ideas y tus vivencias. Having played soccer for over three decades, Segundo Matamba finally decided to pass on his expertise to the younger generations. He left for his new home in October 2016 to become the head coach of a youth football club in Guangzhou. Now, Matamba is able to share his dream and passion of soccer with others. Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 My name is Mais. Mais Ch Chinese. What's your name? Mais. Jiwelong. You? Kongzi. Bueno, yo soy su amigo. Sin embargo, mi pensamiento siempre fue dedicado a, la, a las formativas, a formar, a formar talentos, a sacar jugadores y que poder ver Eh, cómo un chico rápidamente puede crecer, cómo puede desarrollarse, agregar conocimiento, agregar cosas que, que van a ayudar rápidamente al, al desenvolvimiento de un chico. One player whom Matamba sees potential in is David. Seeing an opportunity to hasten his progress, Matamba designs a special training program for him. When Matamba learns that David would rather be playing video games than training, he takes him aside for a quick talk. Look me. Está bien para entrenar? Todo esto hacemos para ti. Pero si tú no quieres. Yes or no yes? In the end, Matamba is able to convince David to stick with the program. Five, six, four. Five, two, three, five, three. When Matamba isn't busy with his coaching duties, he spends his time offering his expertise to the Guangzhou Evergrande Taobao Football Club, advising on matters of talent selection and the implementation of specific training modules. Number, 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 this, this, this number, 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 para number, 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 Good, 
Bye. Three. Yes, baby. Yes. Like it. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Pass. Pass. It's okay. Strong. Yes. I like it. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Hemos mejorado muchísimo. Yo estoy muy contento con tu rendimiento. El trabajo ha dado su resultado. You are strong. Mm -hmm. Tiny. Tiny. Beautiful. Además, con las pasantías que vas a ir a Brasil, Uruguay o Argentina, eso te va a ayudar muchísimo. You happy? Yes? Oh, no, yes. Thanks to Matamba's efforts, the squad has made tremendous strides. Three months after their coach's arrival, the young team is already preparing for their first match. Pass! Pass! Shoot! 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 Yes! 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 yes. Goalkeeper! Mi paso acá no está para pensar de que vengo solamente de paso, sino es que vengo a dar resultados y quiero realmente eh, dejar ya sabiendo de que realmente la metodología sirvió en mi país y puede servir también acá en el crecimiento del fútbol chino. Every day, Matamba is surrounded by his two greatest loves, his family, whom he shares with his wife, daughters, and grandson, and soccer, which he shares with the young kids from the football club. On weekends, he even has his Ecuadorian friends over to talk about soccer. It feels just like home. One, two, three, four. These are more strong. This is the deal. Look at the deal. What me surprised about the deal? The deal. ¿Cómo lo encontré a David? Le hice la evaluación. Ya me dio una información, él me tiró un mensaje. Lo primero era haber hecho la evaluación, lo cual, y eso fue lo más importante, para poder tener un, un principio, ver la base que él tiene. El fútbol chino no ha sido bien vendido a nivel de Sudamérica, no ha sido bien vendido a nivel de Sudamérica. Es un reto. ¿Por qué tomo el reto? Porque muchas, muchas personas me dicen, bueno, ¿tú por qué ahora estás así? Si tengo que cambiarle la cultura de fútbol, de golpe. ¿A ti te gusta Guanyo? Me gusta mucho. A mí me gusta Guanyo porque, porque Guanyo se respira fútbol. Nosotros el día de mañana cuando vayamos a Ecuador después de 5 años, 10 años, 15 años, ¿qué vamos a llevar? Vamos a llevar experiencia, linda experiencia. Dios, bienvenido a este lugar. Y en nuestro corazón venías tu voluntad. Dios, te queremos conocer con tu fuego abrazador. Ven y muévete otra vez. Guangzhou is truly a city without limitations. For more than 1,000 years, it has opened its doors to countless travelers from all walks of life. It's a city that encourages everyone to follow their ambitions, to stand out in a crowd, and to inspire the potential in others. Join us next time as we turn the page yet again in another edition of Guangzhou Stories.